the entire world's resources and a little bit of interesting facts about them or you know how we could use them can i wear my face now no Good morning, good afternoon, and good night. I'm Ollie. Haha. Beat me to it. I'm Fuzzy, and we are your host on ESP12. We're not really. No, Don't say us. Really. No, and him. I didn't say the end. <laughs> you just did. You ruined everything. Damn it! I the mean, entire world's resources. Well, essentially, it's just basically I'm gonna go with what the world's made up of. We are a big blueberry. Full of deliciousness. And full of moss. And we're related to every we're, single bit We're of a moldy blueberry. Well, thank you. I, it takes me a while to get that mold. And we're just like the parasites rolling around on it and eating its stuff. We're anyway. keeping it nice and clean and destroying it at the same time. We're not keeping it clean. <laughs> <laughs> no, right. unfortunately. Earth's geosphere, or the solid parts of it, is 90% uh, of it's made up of iron, oxygen, silicone, and magnesium. Mm -hmm. And normally you wouldn't think of oxygen being part of a solid thing, but oxygen makes up most of the elements. I was gonna say that really depends on because you know it's it's in a gas form, why not? Yeah, it's not it's not necessarily a gas form. It can be it can be used to make it well, into yeah. like uh, like um, solid like crystals and stuff can have or can be oxidized have oxygen in them. Mm -hmm. All right, so uh, oxygen makes up about thirty percent of Earth's mass. Silicone makes up about fifteen percent of Earth's mass. Iron makes up 35% of Earth's mass, and magnesium, or magnesium makes up 13% of its mass. Uh, there are the four major elements, and they make up about 93%, actually. And then you have a bunch of, like, like I think there was like 80 or 90 whole elements together that make up the Earth, but I didn't go over all those because that would just take forever. <laughs> he, he just picked out the ones that he the, liked the, the most. No, I picked up the largest quantities, which made up most of the Earth, and that was those four. But Which that, makes sense. I thought that was pretty cool to know. That's a little good knowledge there. So trees also make up a good portion of what's on the earth. And uh, I'd say there's estimated, uh, this is an estimate because obviously we don't know how many trees exactly, but it's estimated about five trillion or so trees are on the earth. Well, from what I understand, like there's a place somewhere in mid uh, United States where they actually uh, grow specific trees because they grow really fast like they genetically change them mm -hmm. so they can grow and then we can cut them down and use them for um like uh, wood pellets and stuff like that mm -hmm. instead of actually just destroying all all the forests and whatnot well i'm gonna go over what we could do by destroying the entire forest <laughs> oh did you know like if uh if there was no more sunlight okay yeah that's good. okay go ahead with that. or no more trees in general apparently like we could still live on the earth and still have air for 10,000 years. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> I knew that. That is amazing. <laughs> the amount of air that we, we, we would still have. Unfortunately, without no sun, we would die from freezing. Cold. Yeah, we would. So, well, not necessarily, but I mean, it would be well, really if, cold. If we were able to like dig into the earth and use its thermal general or gen gener you know, generated heat, then we would be probably be fine. It'd be freezing for a little bit. <laughs> oh yeah, no doubt. And then we would just die, essentially. But, um, okay, so the trees, there's five trillion or so, it takes, uh, this is an interesting little thing, it takes uh, 102 trees to make a 2,000 square foot home, if it's made out of wood. Really? Yep. So, that's it, cool. So taking all of, taking all the, uh, taking all the trees or so, and like, you know, dividing it by the 102 trees it takes to make, that's 49,019,607,843 houses. He wanted to do numbers made out of the tall or made out of the trees, so that's enough to house people a lot. <laughs> well, that's I enough still, to house I everyone still think in the that, world. I th I still think that even now, as it is, we have enough resources to house. You know, without actually oh, we without do. actually taking anything and, and actually I'm, house people, I'm gonna take care of that, our, yeah. our, our take care of our, our you know our own. <laughs> Humanity, basically. Yeah, so we, there's enough there's enough here to house every single person, man, woman, and child alone at least like freaking four times, five times over. What you mean for the? And that's not, the that's not if you took all, if you took away all the trees. Yeah, if you took. Well, oh, I'm talking about just like as is right now. Well, that's why I'm saying it would only take. There's only like what eight billion people, so that would just take down to forty. That'd take us down to like forty-one million. 
uh, 41 uh, bill or tr yeah, billion possible houses instead of nine or 49 billion. Right. So that's not taking a lot of the trees away. That's just that's still enough to house. It's just amazing how much we have. And just so you know, if we were to fill America with those houses, like all of them, all 49 billion. Okay. Uh, there would be enough to cover America all the way 4,900 times. Holy! <laughs> you mean like from top to bottom, not just a straight line? No, no. These are like squeezed together. Like houses all together. <laughs> it, would, wow. it would take 4,900 times to like make, or it would cover America 4,900 times. Like the whole thing. The whole that's thing awesome. of America. That's pretty that's amazing. crazy. I wonder how long, I wonder how long that, uh, how long, how many times it go around the belt of the earth. I don't know how many times you go around the earth. I just did the square footage oh, for, okay. the, for the United States that and then the square footage for the houses. And That's pretty cool. Together, yeah. That is pretty cool. I like that. And this is sad too. Freshwater. There's 6.52 million trillion gallons of water. Freshwater yeah, on Earth. Sad. That's approximately 81 billion 500 million gallons of water. Wait for it. Per person on the planet. Wow. Yeah, but you know what the bad thing is? What's the bad thing? Us. Yeah, we're with, <laughs> with us doing the, 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 the fracking and whatnot with the water, it's like taking the, uh, it's causing the uh, seepage of natural gas to go in and destroy our natural resources for water. Um, places, you know, that near us actually can like turn on their water faucets and light it on fire. They can't even bathe in it. I know, that's ridiculous. Because like, we're stupid, and they won't do anything about it, because they're like, oh no, fracking doesn't do anything. Bull, you know what? Honky. Bull, Bull honky. honky. Bull honky. So, yeah. Um, well, I mean, still, that's a lot of water per person. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah. And I wonder, like, why the world is in such a horrible state? Like, we could do so much. We have so much stuff to help people with. Right. But and the other thing is, like, they, they, some of the places, they don't even know where the water comes from. Exactly. I think what happens is, like, it gets, like, you know how the plates go in underwater? Yeah. You know? I'm thinking, like, it gets, it, trapped. it gets trapped in there, and then it gets overheated. You know, the salt stays down, and then when it steams, it goes up and go, goes into, like, a pockets. And basically, just keeps it going that way. Is, yeah, that's, that's kind how, of like the idea of what I think is going. And that's on. Fil that's pure filtered crazy oh, water yeah. there too. It's going oh, through yeah. all the minerals and everything mm -hmm. in the earth. That's what. That's how we get like the natural springs that are really, really good to drink from and all that. Mm -hmm. But don't drink from random water because you get like oh, freaking parasites God, and all kinds of whatever shit else make you die. <laughs> you have to definitely filter it. Well, not filter it, but boil that. It has to be filtered, boil boiled, it. or whatever. Yeah, get all the nasty stuff out of it. Now, um, iron, I couldn't really find out how much iron's in, in the world that's like, you know, by by some kind of cap or by some kind of uh, measurement. But uh, basically... Well, iron and steel, that's what I was saying yeah. earlier. Hmm? That's basically what I was saying earlier. Yeah, well, this is uh, basically how much we've uh, we've produced mm -hmm. in, uh, over a five-year period. It's not just us, this is the world. Right. Um, the major producers, anyway. We've produced uh, about 2.65 million thousand metric tons of iron. That's that's a lot of that's a lot of iron. Mm -hmm. But I'm wondering. That's a lot of ships, and you see, I, I understand I understand like them wanting to keep stuff at the bottom of the of the ocean, and like in like a museum. But at the same time, if you could bring up that steel and reuse it. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff. I don't that we think that you're use. disrespecting anybody by moving it and doing so. No, you're helping. You're helping society, like society, move forward and keep keep our uh, resources I mean, on and going. Like, yeah, as long as you are wasting still, it. yeah, as long as you're just you know being respectful about everything. I think every, I think using that is is a, is a good thing. And I think it'd be better for history instead to live, of it rusting away. It'd be better for history to live on in our in our future as well instead of just having it there to look at we could use it to it, to progress instead of like let it sit there so people can stare at it and literally waste away is what it, what it does yeah it's just it's it's a waste it's a waste it's a big waste mm -hmm. but um that's that's really all that's all the things that i really had about that but i thought it was really interesting about the the trees and how much we could do with that and how much water there is per person that's fresh water that we just we don't use to help people like we should.
<laughs> I don't it's think. nice to know that we have that. Um, yeah, and it would last for. Well, even if we too didn't long, have that many, time. even if we didn't have that many, from what I understand, there's a place up towards Mich Michigan, I think. Mm -hmm. Like they actually take the seawater and they bring it in, they filter it out and be make it drink drinking water out of it. Yeah, they filter and that's, out all the all the salt. And that'd be really good, and also it'd be cool to use like the um, to use the oceans like the salt water as like an energy source as well. Because they could oh, take yeah, the, they yeah. could take the, this the because salt. Of the tide. Yeah, well, and the salt like uh, it actually creates it can create energy like electro like electro uh, something. Mm -hmm. For I forget what it's called exactly. It's hydroelectric. Yeah, basically. But I'm not talking about the water like flowing and pushing the the turn or the the little thingies. The, current, the, yeah. the turbine. Yeah, the turbine. Well, that's what they're doing in that one place. Like they got uh, a big opening, like a, I think it's a bridge, and underneath it they have those turbines there and. With the tides, it powers everything. I was talking more along the lines of you know how you can put like a nail inside of a, an apple or something, and like you can use that to like basically turn oh, it all white oh, oh, or a oh, potato. Oh, oh, yeah. So yeah. basically, it's like that, but with with seawater instead. Yeah, because instead. of salt being yeah. a conductor. Yeah. So I mean, and there's there's all kinds of things we could do for energy. And we might even go over some of those things in the future. I might even do like little up. projects and just be like, hey, check this out. It's pretty awesome. You know? Yeah. So that's future plan. But, you know, we've got to get the funding for it, unfortunately. So we're working on it. Yes. We're working on it. So like, subscribe, and, you know. Like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. And again, good morning. Good afternoon. And good night. I'm a happy, happy princess. It's